Uh, hello, Anselm Griffin here again with another YouTube tutorial. Today we're featuring uh, Excel and not MATLAB. So what we want to do today is we want to rotate some points about the mean of those points. So this would be a precursor for some students. You know, they'd need to know for affine conformations, conformal transformations, and projective transformations. You have know, to be projection, sorry, to be scale, to be rotation, translation, all that sort of stuff. So we're just starting today at some fairly base points, how to rotate some points. So we have, just go down to the graph here in a second. We have the graph here and we want to rotate the points about the center of these points. So I'll explain how I did that in a second, but the center is 2.6 and 3.5. So 2.6 and 3.5 is there-ish where the mouse is now. So we want to rotate by minus 90 degrees. And I have the graph set up to do this just to speed things up a little bit. So I have a little bit of color coding here. Inputs are in yellow and outputs are in red, just to differentiate a bit. And over here where my mouse is now is my rotation formula and we're rotating by minus 90 degrees. Okay, so we have here, there are the input points. And now just have a little look at the formula here. So I got the average of the X points, I got the average of the Y points. And then I took away the mean of the X from each individual X. So how did I do that? I said B11 minus B23. And what does the dollar do? As you drag down the dollar in the front, in front of the 23 keeps the 23 constant. So all the time you're just saying, B11 minus B23, B12 minus B23, B13 minus B23, etc. And likewise here for the Y coordinates, it's, it's C11 minus C dollar 23. And as you drag down, the dollar in front of the 23 remains constant as you drag down. Okay, just go over here. And just turn that off a sec, the formats. So I suppose by right, that should be yellow. So we have minus 90 and we need to convert that into radians, right? Because in Excel and MATLAB and Python and all those formulas, it assumes you're working in uh, radians. So what I said there was, I got the radians of it. So there, and there's, if I just go up a little bit, there's my rotation matrix there, just at the top of the screen. Cos of j8, the sine of j8, the cos of minus the sine of j8, and the cos of j8. So I just want <clears throat> to get now uh, the coordinates after rotation. So you highlight, there's the point, that's a 10 by 2 matrix there. That is a 2 by 2 matrix, and a 10 by 2 by a 2 by 2 will give you a 10 by 2. And I have this pre-colored, so I highlight that 10 by 2 area, go up to the formula bar, equal MMULT. So MMULT matrix multiply, highlight the 10 by 2. comma to two by two and a lot of my students would go wrong here is they would just press the enter button but it's not enter it's finger on the control button finger on the shift button finger on the enter button so there we are and i had the graph set up i hope that's all right i had the graph set up earlier and so that it would populate immediately. I didn't want to be, as it were, wasting time doing the graph. I hope that's all right. And there we have it there. We have those points rotated roughly around 2.6, 3.5, so there-ish. Okay. And 
then what I did was I did a second example, so slightly easier. Uh, this was just about the origin. So there we are there, and there's no need to trim or anything like that, but just we're rotating about zero, zero. Same formula again over here. We're rotating by minus 90. There's my rotation matrix. And if I look there, it's MMULT matrix multiply B52 to um, C61, yeah, by I52 to J53, and that'll give it to me there. And I have the uh, I have the graphs done. Okay. Okay, so hope that helps a little and thanks very much for this.